Okay, so taking a look here at our examples for 7.2 uh, trig functions of real numbers. All right, so um, find the exact value of the six trig functions. Well, remember, those are x and y, so that means I would go over 4 and down 3. So I have to figure out what this, uh, hypothetically, the hypotenuse is. So it's 4 squared plus negative 3 squared equals c squared. So that's 16 plus 9 equals c squared. So that's 25 equals c squared. I square root both sides to find out that c is 5. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is negative 3 over hypotenuse, which is 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 4 over 5. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is negative 3 fourths. So, um, to find cosecant, you just flip it, so it would be 5 over negative 3 when you flip sine. Um, to find secant, you flip cosine, which would be 5 over 4. And to find cotangent, you flip tangent, which would be 4 over negative 3. So now to do negative 2, negative 5, it would be over negative 2 and down negative 5, so I need to find out what that is. So it's negative 2 squared plus negative 5 squared equals c squared. So that's 4 plus uh, 25. So it's the square root of 29. So sine is opposite, which is negative 5, over hypotenuse. So negative 5 over root 29. But can't have that because you can't have square roots in the bottom. So it's negative 5 root 29 over 29. Adjacent is negative 2 over root 29. But once again, you can't have square roots in the bottom. So it's negative 2 root 29 over 29. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is negative 5 over negative 2, which is positive 5 over 2. So now you just flip them. So I flip sine, but it's easier to think about it as the original here, because if I flip that, I'm going to have to redo all those roots. So if you look at the original and flip that, it would be square root of 29 over negative 5. If you look at the original for secant, when you flip that, um, for secant, if you flip cosine, look at the original. That's how you get negative uh, square root of 29 over negative 2. And if you flip tangent um, to get cotangent, that would be 2 fifths. So 90 degrees, if we use the rule, we can use our rule that finger square root of the left over 2. Uh, there are four fingers to the left, so it's root 4 over 2, which is uh, 1. You could do cosine um, while there's no fingers to the right, so it would be 0 over 2, which is a 0. Tangent is a square root of the left, which is root 4 over root 0, which is 2 over 0, which is undefined. So you just flip them. When you flip sine, you get 1. When you flip cosine, um, you get 2 over 0, so that's why that's undefined. And when you flip cotangent, um, instead of 2 over 0, it's 0 over 2, which is 0. Zero degree finger, if I put that one down. Alright, so square root of the left, there's nothing to the left, so no fingers are to the left, so that's zero over two, which is just zero. Cosine is square root of four over two, which is two over two, so that's one. Tangent, square root of the left, which is zero, over the square root of the right, which is four, that's zero over two, which is zero. So cosecant, you flip sine. So to flip that, that's two over zero, which is undefined. Secant, if you flip that, um, flip cosine, that would be 2 over 2, which is still 1. And cotangent, that means you flip tangent, that would be 2 over 0, which is why it's undefined, because you can't have 0 on the bottom. All right, find the exact trig values um, of that. Some people, it's easier to see it in degrees, so I'm just going to try to show this to you in terms of uh, degrees, is all. Um, so that's why I'm rewriting as 180 over pi, because this way the pi's will cancel out the 630 degrees. So that means I went around one whole time for 360, and I went the whole way around again and landed right there for 630 degrees. Since this is on the y-axis, which is your 90-degree finger, you can use your 90-degree finger for anything that falls on the y-axis, for example, 90, 270. For me personally, it's easier to look at it because it's on this axis instead of doing it with your hand. If you remember, with terminal points and terminal sides, that point right there is on the unit circle. That's 0, negative 1. So when you're doing this, you get a negative 1 for sine, because that's y. Cosine is 0 because it's x. So tangent would be y over x, which would be negative 1 over 0, so it's undefined, and then you just flip everything. 
but using your hand to do it, that is your 90 degree finger. So square root of the left, it's root 4 over 2, which is 2 over 2, which is 1. Square the right, there's nothing to the right, that's why it's 0. So I still have a 0 and the 1, just got to remember that that's a negative 1 there. And tangent is the square root of the left, which is uh, root 4 over root 0, which is undefined. Cosine, you flip it to get sine as 1 when you flip um, that. When you flip secant, we said that that's 0 over 2, or 2 over 0, which is now undefined. And when you flip cotangent, that becomes, instead of 2 over 0, it's 0 over 2, which is 0. But remember, because it's down here, it's negative, right? Sine is negative, and the cosecant is negative 1. So 3 pi is, because uh, some people have a hard time seeing it in terms of pi, I'm just switching it again. It's 540 degrees, which means you go around here to 360 plus another 180, so it lands right there. You can use your hand again, but remember, keep in mind, I think it's easier to look at it in terms of terminal sides. This is negative 1, 0. That's where the point is because it's on the unit circle. Negative 1, 0, so we know x is negative 1, and x is cosine, so it's negative 1, so cosine is negative 1. Sine is y, so sine is 0. So then tangent is y over x, or 0 over negative 1, so tangent is 0. You can flip to find the reciprocals, or you can use the hand. Um, no fingers to the left, so it's 0 over 2, which is 0, so C sine is still 0. Cosine, that is a square root of 4 over 2, because there are 4 fingers to the right, over 2, which is 2 over 2, so that's 1. Um, but remember, like I said, because it's over here, it's actually negative 1 is the answer. Not 1 there, it's actually a negative 1. And the square root of the left, which is nothing, over the square root of the right, which is 4, so you get 0 over 2, which is 0. So all you do is flip everything. Flip 0 over 2, you get 2 over 0. That's undefined. Flip secant, well, if you flip cosine of 1, you get um, 1 when you flip it, but keep in mind, these are both supposed to be negative. So cosine here is negative, and secant is negative, because it's over here, and x is um, cosine when it's on the unit circle, and cosine is negative 1 there. And when you flip um, cotan or when to get can to get cotangent, you flip tangent, so two over zero is undefined. All right, so when we come back here, we will finish up the rest of our problems um, for these examples.